Hi everybody, I'm Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 11th, 2016. So, on this Thursday, we are waking up if we're in Central Europe to a moon that's void of course and it's going to remain that way until about 1100 hours. It's still in your bedtime, America. You're going to be waking up into a very zestful moon in Aries that's going to, if you're in Europe, it's going to move into Aries around 1100 hours and it's going to bring a lot of masculine uh, energetic and and zesty energies into this day something more carnal more bottom chakras and a lot more grounded and headstrong and that headstrong energy is going to remain with us because around 1900 hours there's a 145 angle to Mars between the moon and Mars that's around 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time and that's a time that we could be a little less content have a shorter fuse complain about everything so just be mindful of that and give thanks uh, and, and don't complain too much. And other than that, I wanted to talk to you about something else that is a wider phenomenon that's happening in the sky. We've talked about it a little bit before and it's going to be here for a while, but it's getting more and more intense these days and I wanted to mention it. The nodes, which is... Uh, we call it in Hebrew the dragon's tail and the dragon's head. But the lunar nodes are very powerful energetic portals in the sky. And at this time, Jupiter, the great teacher, is sitting on the north node, the dragon's head. And Chiron, the wounded healer, is on the south node, the dragon's tail. So these two planets are sitting on very, very strong energy portals in the sky. And they're opposing each other. And Earth is in the middle. What does that mean? What is happening? So first of all, this is a time of great learning for us, both as individuals and as a society. And we talked about before, it's a time that we need to expand our horizons, to walk forward, to grow and evolve, and we all feel it. We feel it individually in the goals we set for ourselves, and we feel it uh, collectively with our families and with our group of friends, and we feel it in our society, in our uh, national society, in our international society, in humanity as a whole. There's this anticipation of us walking forward already, of evolving already, of understanding what it is that we need to be doing better. So we have very high expectations, again, both individually and collectively. And you know what? we have to understand that we are going to be disappointed more than once. Not only that we are going to be disappointed, that sour feeling from that disappointment is necessary to be that concrete that holds those foundations that really allow us to sprout and grow and evolve. It's like a bit like a, a heavy smoker that only when he gets a heart attack, understand that he needs to quit smoking. So, in a sense, over the next, uh, during the next few months, we need to set those goals, we need to strive to evolve, we need to broaden our horizons, we need to aim high, but we need to be more realistic and understand that some of these things will not work out as optimistically and utopically as we want them to work out. <laughs> and that the disappointments and failures would be just as important for our evolution as our triumph. So, thank you for listening, and I hope you have a very positive day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.